Good morning, everyone. We're Kels J and Pippa. We live in this van, and we're going to take you through 24 hours of living in it, what it's like, and what we get up to on a daily basis. Let's get started. So one of the best things actually about this lifestyle, and it hasn't changed since bus life, is the people. So last night we stayed with our buddies, Kristen, Will, Rome, and Rush from Number One Bus. And today we're leaving, saying our goodbyes, but it's been really nice catching up with them. And of course, Rush, Pippa's, Pippa's current boyfriend. Hey Rush, do you want to come see Pippa? First mission of the day, quick little bit of breakfast, and then we're going to a swimming pool to do a swim walk. <laughs> Bye guys. With our half Ironman race less than a week away, it's been important for us to plan workouts into our daily routine. So on the road, the best place we've found to swim is at YMCA's. The swim complete. So I feel like that's like a van life hack. It was free for two days and we got an unlimited shower. So if you're ever around a YMCA, definitely give them a call. See if they do free trials, free passes. Most of them do. All right, now we're gonna have some food before heading back out on the road. Chicken salad. Thank you. These ciabatta bagels. Never heard of them. Really excited to try them. This is our good stuff. Hey guys. I've been everywhere, but I'm all this right is pretty now. much an everyday occurrence. Filling up with gas. And it's been expensive this trip because gas prices right now are just sky high. So this place is 331 a gallon. I remember the days when it was like 240, 230. Crazy. Let's see how much this one comes to. $65. So that was probably ooh, about three quarters of the tank to get it to full. So we're probably looking around 80 bucks for a full tank. And that'll get us like 15 miles to the gallon. So it wouldn't be a full 24 hours of van life if we didn't do the mundane tasks. So I think it's been about three or four weeks since we've done laundry. We haven't done it yet on the road, but we should really be doing laundry every two weeks. We stretched this one out a little bit too far. So this is about three to four weeks worth of laundry. And we're just gonna go to a nice little laundromat we found in Florida, in Jacksonville. I nearly drowned. Oh, that just ran. So then, while we wait for that to get finished up, we'll probably just hang out in the van and catch up on some editing. That's the life. This is like a military operation. So many bags to put stuff in, to sort through things and fold it neat. Another thing that's like not really talked about in van life is getting rid of your trash. So a lot of times we'll just pull up to different places if we see trash cans, 
that are empty and try to dispose of our trash it's kind of like one of the most like awkward things kind of because like you're not really supposed to put your household trash in there but if there as long as there's like no sign that says like no household items i think you're i think you're all right so a few key places we do it is like gas stations big dumpsters or like supermarkets i think the key is keeping your trash small small keeping keeping your trash <laughs> in small bags so you can just like put it in any garbage can that you see around you can't really like accumulate like big trash bins because then you just draw too much attention so we usually just look for dumpsters and then let's throw it in I don't know why I always find that just so awkward, like throwing out our trash, even though it doesn't matter. I just always find it a little bit awkward. I will find a place for us. I will show you where to go. I won't try to change your mind because I'm always on your side. Welcome to our home for the evening. This whole entire place for ourselves. There's no one here. So this spot is a like a wildlife reserve in Florida. There's quite a few of these around. But the way we find spots like this is on Iowalander. Uh, Campedium's a really good one. And we we never really pay for any accommodations, like parking wise. Um, but this is how we do it for free. This is pretty much the first thing I do when I get to every single spot. You gotta mark your territory. So yesterday was actually my birthday and if you wish me happy birthday Thank you very much. And if you didn't, shame on you. But I have a lot of cake left over. So honestly, this is probably what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. Ooh. Jay isn't the only one who typically likes having an afternoon snack. Good girl. So we've trained her to go up on her hind legs whenever she wants food, just because it's the cutest thing ever. Yeah. So she kind of just chills, hangs out when we drive. Um, she likes it so much better than the bus. It doesn't make nearly as much noise and she just sleeps the entire time. <laughs> Don't you Been following along, you know me and Kelsey are doing the half iron man this weekend, this Sunday. So I've just got a quick 40 minute bike into a 15 minute run just to keep the body ticking over ready for Sunday. And what better place to do it than here? Not time for the run. By far, so for the shaky footage. By far, my favorite part of that night is getting to train and explore new areas every single day. Look at this nice, quiet road. All to myself. That was hot. Florida is definitely very humid right now. Whew. So it's about six o'clock now and Jay's over there 
doing some work. I'm gonna start cooking dinner. It's race week, so I'm gonna try to cook something a little bit healthier than normal. So I realize I don't have much light to stand on because I am cooking rice that's boiled in a bag. But one tip if you're making a rice bowl or um, wanna just like make the rice taste a little bit better is to put chicken stock in the water when you're cooking it and it just takes the rice to that next level. And it's a super easy thing to do. So I've decided to go with a nice healthy Mexican bowl for tonight's meal with some sweet potatoes, we got some rice, we got some sour cream, so we're gonna do the whole nine. Really nice, healthy way to kind of kick off race week. And this has to be one of the best features about the van is that I can turn this around and just like work in the kitchen, do some peeling, do some cutting, and just sit down. So one thing that's pretty crazy and definitely took a lot of getting used to is the fact that this morning we woke up and we honestly had no idea where we were going to end up and i think that's not for everyone so i understand when some people are like man life isn't for me totally get it um it's definitely an adjustment period we definitely skipped that with the van because we went through it with the bus and it was definitely stressful in the beginning trying to find parking spots trying to um just kind of make it all work but once you kind of get past that if you're kind of a free spirit and don't mind a little bit of chaos every once in a while, it's really quite freeing. This spot, we had no idea we were gonna be here and here we are alone in the middle of the Florida Wildlife Preserve. Who knows what we're gonna do the next day. So yeah, every day with van life is kind of a surprise and that's, that's what makes it so fun. That's so gonna it's a big power us through the place. <sighs> Thank you. Holy, holy. Holy guacamole. Thank you. So I'm just watching a movie about climbing. Jay was watching it too, but he fell asleep. This is typically how our days end. And this is when the real party starts. And I can ask Pippa whatever I want. Now I'm going to tell you guys some ghost stories. So, there once was a van. Oh, you What's going on? <laughs> Just saying goodnight. Night, folks. I'll see you in the morning. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. So that concludes 24 hours living in a van. If you guys want to follow along our half Ironman journey, um, the race is this Sunday. We'll provide a link and you can kind of follow, see where we are in the race, see how we're doing. Starts December 12th, 7 a.m. Eastern. <laughs> All right, and I don't know what else to say. I need a coffee. All right, I'm going back to sleep. Okay, bye. <laughs> Pippa needs me. Pippa's. I'm all right. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Is that a good sniff, Pips? <laughs> I nearly drowned in my